Hey you, thanks for coming back to My Animal House. We're out here in the garage today and we're going to build us a reptile enclosure. It's going to be four foot long, two foot wide by two foot high. We're going to have a couple doors in the front. I think it's going to be a really fun project. I'm going to use a lot of the same materials that I did in the rodent rack build that I did. The video's in the link down in the playlist below. So if you, uh, if you like this video and you like them kind of projects, please go check that video out, give it a like, subscribe to my channel, hit that bell. You'll know when these kind of videos come out. I do a little bit of this and a, little, a lot of animal care. So uh, if you enjoy animals and uh, these kind of builds, please subscribe to my channel. I hope you enjoy this video and uh, we're gonna start off by uh, just building the front frame. And then as I go, we'll kind of talk about what we're gonna do and how we're gonna do it and uh, what we're gonna use to do it. So uh, sit back and here we go. All right, I just wanted to go over a parts list. We got uh, two pieces right here that are both four foot long that are one and a half by one and a half. This is also one and a half by one and a half, three pieces, 21 inches long. And then we're just gonna use some basic clamps, that corner clamp. The old level measure doohickey, I'm not exactly sure what that's called. Yeah, the old countersink drill bit there to you know, line everything up. I got the old all-purpose screws that are 8 by 2 Just any kind of a metal will do, just kind of level things out when you're lining up boards and stuff. Tape measure, drill, that kind of basic stuff. And that's about all you're going to need, I think, right now. If there's anything else, like take a pencil. Can't, remember, can't forget the pencil. <laughs> Alright, we'll get to building this frame and... Uh, I'll get a little bit better angle. I'm just going to kind of focus everything on one section while I do all the countersinking, the measurements, and uh, we'll get going with this build. All right, we're just going to start off by marking to make sure that we know that these are the top. So basically, just turn each one of these in. These will be the outsides of each board. Now, one and a half. One and a half, and I'm gonna get a half, get a halfway point on each one. Here, let me get, oh yeah, you can also use this, this is a whole lot better for making the lines out here. But these are just kind of a rough estimate so you know how much room you have when you're putting your screws in. I'm going to turn it around. Get these two. One and a half. One and a half. And then from this point on, it's just like before, guys. I just kind of map my two screws out I want to put in. And put in the old countersink. I got it shortened to where it doesn't go through when I'm doing projects like this. Remember, you don't have to get exact. These are just kind of a guideline. Once you get up here and you're looking down, you kind of just put them wherever you want. So I just kind of sunk a little bit. Help start them out good. The same thing on the other side. We'll go back here because there's going to be a center brace in here. I want to do the same thing, but what I'm going to do with this is, because this is my center and I know that it's an inch and a half, I'm going to go put it on an inch line here and then go three quarters of an inch 
both ways here. And then I know that I need my screw holes here. Do the same thing over here. Okay, three quarters, three quarters. Thing, just kind of put your rough estimate. All right, there you go. So now we got everything's all pre drilled there. Flip them back over. Kind of a wider shot here. All right, that's a little bit better to see what's going on here. So now I'm just gonna kind of gonna clamp this down. I mean, this doesn't move. This is the same kind of way I did the the rat racks. So that basically that's what we're shooting for. It's going to be the front and the back will be the exact same. I'll show you kind of how I line up this first one here at the corner. We'll zoom in on that a little bit more. There we go. And then I'll uh, use the corner clamp, put two screws in. And then after that, I'll kind of fast forward through the rest of me putting all these screws in. You guys kind of get the gist of it. You'll know what's going on. And then uh, we'll get on with this video. I almost forgot which way they went. <laughs> just kind of lining up the best you can. Remember, just like on the rat rack video, just as long as your bottom surface is flush, then where we're going to put the plywood, none of this other stuff's going to really matter. So, kind of. I love these little magnetic trays. Those things are gold mine. I'm working on my bikes, working on anything. I love those little trays. I'll get that started a little bit. And one more double check, just kind of get it level. All right, I'm basically going to do that to the whole rest of it, and, uh, and then we'll get back to this. All right, so here we go. We got this right here. That's basically the front part of the frame. All you need to do is build two of these, and then uh, if you got two of them, then we got the front and the back, and then we'll just... Uh, Cut a couple pieces for this. We need five more pieces that are exactly the 21 inches, and I'll get all those cut up and I'll get my other one built when I'm ready to put the two pieces together. So make sure to make two of these, and uh, as soon as I make two of them, we'll be back. Thanks. All right, guys. Now that we got our uh, we got our front and our back done, I just want to pre-drill the the four corners. 
that'll have the legs to hold the whole box together basically so I'm just gonna go because the other ones are both in there um, at different angles I'm just gonna go a three-quarter inch here and just kind of put a line and then I just straight through to where then because the other one's going this way and the other one's going this way so if I you know if I just go right in the middle I should avoid both of them so I'm gonna grab a big old countersink bit here so I'll just go here and in here and that'll give me my holes so I can put the four legs on to make the box and then we'll wrap it with some plywood. So uh, I'll go ahead and do the other four corners and we'll get this speeded up and then uh, we'll get ready to put those on. All right guys, we got all of our holes drilled. Now I'm just gonna get everything ready so we can put those legs on and uh, we'll be right back. All right, here we go. Um, we're ready to put these legs on to make the box, but I did elect, you can if you want, it's up to you. In the center of this beam, I did go ahead and put two more screws because I think I'm going to put a support that goes across the top part. I'm not going to do it on the bottom because all the substrate and everything will be down there. I don't think there's a lot of weight. I'm kind of more worried about the top of the cage, like if somebody sets anything on it or if you want anything on it to decorate it or something like that. There's some support up there for it. So I went ahead and threw them in there. If you, if you want to, you can. If you don't want to, don't. It's up to you. I think it'll have enough support either way, but just in case because of the you know, of the top factor, lights, that kind of thing. Just put a little extra support up there. So, all right, here we go. So now is what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna kind of turn this around because this will be our top, remember? Where our extra two screw holes are and where you can see the counter sinks. Well, remember, this is gonna be the outside where the ply board goes after we get this built. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, secure this down. Yeah, this is gonna be, this is so much of a fun project. Hope you guys are enjoying it as well. Every time I build something like this, I just learn more and more and more. So I just keep building so I can keep learning. So basically now I'm just gonna put it right here and I'm just gonna kind of line it up the best I can with eyeballing it. Basically now is what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take this square here and I'm just going to kind of make them level. Level it up here and drive some screws in. I mean, it's that simple. We'll see. Yeah, it cracks me up. Let's check it out. I show this. It's like, oh yeah, these things are so amazing. They're so nice and neat. Here, look. This is what my normal one looks like. <laughs> It's full of everything from Dremel bits to drill bits to hacksaw blades to everything. So, you know, I had to break out the big fancy one with nothing in it for you guys. <laughs> All right, let's get these screws in here. Just start them a little bit. Yeah, remember, as soon as we get these in here in this box built, everything's going to have ply board over it. So, as long as we get it, you know. Fairly close.
Then now we just have to test to turn it around and uh, we'll be we'll be ready to put on that other side. So I'm just gonna take this now and I'm just gonna spin it around. This section back here. Grab our other one here. Watch out for clamps. They can come from anywhere, them suckers. We'll just pull, clamp this on here. Same process as the other side. So yeah, it's basically the same process as the other side. We'll get them bolted up and I'll speed through this part. All right, guys, I'm going to back you guys up a little bit so we get a little bit better view here. Bear with me. All right, so as you can see, we have our support. So that middle support there is actually the top. So we're going to flip this whole thing over and then put these other two legs on. And then we're rolling. So now, as long as I can do this without breaking it. And then we'll just line these these guys up here, front and back. Bolt that right there. Yep, guys, and even look, we got a knot here. Doesn't matter, plywood here. Yep, it'd be fine. This one's faster because we only got two legs put on this one. Process here with the with everything. Swing this one here and left to make it. Clamp it back down, same process, put the screws in. Line this one up here because it's already stable. Line up this one. So that's basically it. Okay, let's get you guys off the tripod and we'll look around. All right, here we go. This is kind of it. So overall, this skeleton frame is four foot by two foot by two foot. 
got the support on the top for any lights or anything like that on top of the cage and we'll put our two doors here and here so yeah i think we're looking good all right i'm gonna start cutting up some plywood and uh we're gonna wrap this cage and uh it's gonna be fun all right see you guys in a little bit all right but i just kind of wanted to touch base with what i got going on now i got all the osb board cut and all that stuff and um we've elected um i talked to the person i'm making this for and uh we just kind of figured that uh, one door would be enough to where it would give more viewing room on the other side. So what I kind of did is just did a perimeter of the, the inch and a half for our frame. Uh oh, what's up, Theodore? Did you want to be on? Do you want to be on the YouTube? Say hi to everybody. This is my pro my garage guy. Huh? Huh? Are you our supervisor? He's the supervisor, so he's got to check. So I got my inch and a half perimeter all the way around, so then I know where to put my screws. And then I kind of just mapped out where I want my windows and my door. This is going to be the door side, so it's a little bit shorter here. I'm basically going to cut out these two sections, and I just kind of wanted to let you guys know why. So <laughs> I'm leaving like an inch and a half rim here of wood to where I got something to, to put the screen to. So this will all be screen on this side, and this will be the door. So once I get these cut out and I get the door cut out and kind of get a little further. <laughs> Hi, buddy. Hi, you want to some love, huh? Just a minute. And then, uh, and then we'll get back to uh, putting all the rest of it together. Because the door, the front is kind of the more important part of the whole thing of putting on all this. So we'll get all the hardware on, all the brackets, all the hinges, put the screen in, and then we'll uh, finish putting the whole thing together. And we'll get back to this video and uh, say hi, buddy. Hi. Say hi. This is Theodore. Huh, he's our garage supervisor. He hates being in the house. Stays outside most of the time, but he loves being in the garage for some reason. What do you see up there, buddy? All right. As soon as I cut these out, we'll get back to this video, and uh, I'll give this boy some more love because he's just going crazy. All right, guys. Bang. Here we go. Look at that. Bang. Got him cut out. Got a piece cut for the door. This side's going to be the screen. So uh, this side will be the door. So I already got this one kind of cut in there. And then... Uh, We'll have to stand a little bit to make sure she's going to fit. I got brackets, of course, in my trusty tray. We're going to kind of put these here, here, and that kind of thing. And then the brackets back here. I already got them all dotted out. So we'll be here. So now I just got to cut a window here. So then we can have a little screen here. We got viewing on this side as well. Because there'll be more on this side. So uh, I just got to get this cut. We'll get all these holes drilled. And then uh, as soon as we're back, bang, we'll put all this hardware. You'll see how I'm going to put the screen on here and here. And uh, we'll put the front on and build the rest of the cage. Until we get this done, bang. Look at that. It's already done. How did that happen? I have no idea. So we'll just kind of leave it right here. So I, I guess I don't want to put these on right away. I guess I shouldn't have said that. I guess we'll put those on later because I want to put the screen on the back side of uh, <laughs> the door and the inside of here. So we'll get this flipped over and uh, I'll get the screen ready for the door. I'll get the screen ready for that. And then, uh, hi Theodore, I know you always want to say hi, huh buddy? And then um, as soon as we get that done, and uh, I'll show you how I'm going to staple them on and that kind of thing. And uh, he just bit me a little bit too. What's the deal? You feeling all jealous? All right, so then I'll get the screen on there. And I think I'm going to take some foil tape around the edge of the screen, about a half an inch maybe, and just kind of fold it over just to where it's really protective when I staple it down. And that stuff, man, you guys know how that stuff is. Anybody that's ever used foil tape, that stuff's like solid. So if I put a strip across there on the back side, then it should be like really safe for no scratches and that kind of thing. I don't know. I'll, I'll, I'll do a piece and see if I like it, and then uh, I'll let you know if I go that route. But I'll get that screen ready, and uh, we'll be ready to go. All right, come on, Theodore. <laughs> You're killing me. Love you, buddy. Huh. What do you, 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 I got to let me get a little better work done. Huh. All right, I got my screen cut for the inside of the non-door side, just for the window. So uh, we're going to just staple that in. I'll fast forward through that. 
just kind of we got our guidelines inch and a half all the way around so we know if we keep this screen within here in those lines then we're good so as long as we staple it around keep it as straight as we can and uh we'll get it going all right watch me staple <laughs> Alright, there we go. Got it all stapled up. Bang, see? It'll look nice. Paint it, it'll look good. Alright, we'll work on the door. Alright, here's the screen for the door. So, we really don't have too much of a perimeter because this is the door. There will be some stops right here. So I'm just going to kind of center this the best I can. But before I do, the reason why I wanted to get that foil tape, I'll show you. All right, let me, let me pause this for a minute. All right, so this is basically what I'm going to do because... Here, let me show you this. These are the things, even when you cut these things off, they just, it, they're not really welded together by much. So they just kind of, they come apart so easy, this little quarter inch. The half inch doesn't, so I didn't do it to it. But, um, so a lot, I don't know. Anybody that's ever used this stuff, you know this stuff is solid. Uh-oh. Sweet. All right, so basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to cover up about two holes enough to where the back side you can, uh, For them, when I wrap it around, it won't uh, it won't touch. So just kind of give it the go. Just like this, and it's going to be on the door. So if something's going to get snagged on it, it's going to be on the door anyway. So this might help from uh, that happening. And then I know where this cage is going, and uh, um, they're going to need uh, as much help as they can. A little klutzy, I think. Nah, just kidding, just kidding. So, uh, we'll fold it over. I'll cut that end off. But just kind of fold it over to where then it's really smooth. And this stuff, once it sticks, it's pretty much on there. Anybody that's ever used it before for, uh, laying down, like, heat tape or something like that for aquariums, you guys know, man, this stuff is solid. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and do the other three sides and then uh, it'll all be done and we'll go to staple it on there and I'll show you that. Alright, this is kind of how I'm going to have it. I got my little silver tape on there. Kind of help to where there's no sharp edges whatsoever. I'm just going to kind of staple it on the same way as I did the other one. Just kind of start somewhere. That looks good. That's basically it. This will be the outside of the door. This way. Hey, right, here we go. Looks good. All right. I'll throw a couple more staples in there. Give it a couple wax with the mallet, but you guys get the gist of it. So there we go. All right. Next time you see me, we'll be putting the front of the the front um, piece of OSB board on the on the actual skeleton frame, and we'll wrap this sucker up. All right. See you in a bit. All right, builders, here we are. We're at the last part of this project. Bang, got the frame all done, got all the wood cut. Got all the hardware ready, got everything I need. And I was going to do is just kind of put everything together, and uh, I'll kind of fast forward through all that. You guys don't really need to see all, you know, slapping it on there. You guys kind of know how to do that. So uh, once I get it all put together and it's uh, all attached, we'll uh, get back to actually talking again and... Uh, We'll uh, talk about the cage a little bit and end it. I'm going to build a little shelf for the inside. It'll be a really fun project, and uh, I'll see you again at the end. All right.
Empire Builders. I kind of got you in here for a slight, I'm just going to kind of let you know, I'm going to put the shelf in here. This is the inside of the cage, and I got my line drawn here. So what I'm going to do is, um, I'm going to grab a couple of these real quick. It's going to be hard to kind of show you with one hand, but I'll explain to you how I'm going to do it. But anyway, I'm basically, uh, I'm going to line this up with this line, and then, uh, I got it all level. And then I'll screw these through and they'll poke out on the back side. And when they poke out on the back side, it'll give me um, pretty much a guide of where they're at. So then I know where to put, I can put screws in the back to hold it on and then it'll keep the shelf in play. And then I can take these screws back out and it'll hold the shelf. I'll show you kind of how I'm doing it in a minute. All right, hold on. All right, see kind of how I got the shelf in there? Or not the shelf, but the it'll the brace for the shelf. So then when I come around here to the back side, you can, uh, let me see right there. If you can see the screw heads are poking out here. So now I'm gonna put a screw here, and then on the side of this one, and then here in the middle. Well, I'll be right back. All right, well, let's see, we got one, two, and then three. So then I'll go on the inside here, and I'll take back out these big screws. Hold on. All right, now, like right where that screw is, it's gone now. Yep. So watch, we'll bring this around. And yep, now this board's in here, and there's no screws poking out anywhere. I mean, that's just my way of holding it up there, why I can get the screws in. I'm a one-man show out here, so it's kind of hard to hold it in place the way I want, but that's the way I do it. I gotta put one there, one over there, and one at that end, and I'll put a shelf in. All right, we'll be back. Here we go, YouTube, look at that. She's done. Got all the sides on there, got the front, got the door. Got all the hardware on the door for the locks. I'll put a shelf in there. You can take this out. It's no big deal for cleaning. That kind of thing. A little ramp there. Go up to the second shelf. It worked out pretty good. But yep, that's it. It's shoved straight down here. All right. And it's up to whoever, you know, owns it. If they want to cut holes in the top to put lights or any of that kind of stuff. But yep, I'll put all the dimensions, the wood, everything you use, the cost, everything. I'll put all that in the description of this video. So there it is, everybody. That's my two foot by four foot by two foot reptile enclosure or anything. You could put about anything in there. I'm going to paint it with enamel paint. That's the key on the inside, at least. Because you can paint that stuff and as soon as it dries, it's hard as a rock. You could hose it out if you wanted to for cleaning and all that. It makes it really easy to clean. So yeah, just paint her up and this sucker's done. Alright everybody, if you like these kind of videos, please give it a like. Subscribe to my channel. Smack that notification bell so you know when I make more videos. I learned a lot on this project. There's things I'd do different and there's things I'd do again. But then again, like I said, this worked out for me. If it doesn't work out for you build your own but if you do make a video and let me know i'll watch it all right guys thanks for watching